because I know we still haven't gotten to your music career at all. And well, this is what I need y'all to do. So do y'all understand? I'm a, if you engage me, I'm going to talk. That's one thing about We've me. I'll, 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 I'll express myself. It's a good look. We you love know, it. I don't have... Because that's why I'm here. I came here. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all... Y'all platform is doing something beneficial for me. Cause like maybe the whole 15 years I've been Muslim and why I've been off the grid is because I've invested in that. You know what I'm saying? I've invested in every facet of what helped me get to a point in my life where I found the balance between who I was and who I am. Right. Cause when I first became Muslim, I rejected it. No, not even rejected it. I was, you know, it was like lightweight. I'm trying to heal. Like, doing I don't it. want to keep hearing about boom. Like I'm, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to like get to. You, you rejected who you were. Not so much. I ain't gonna say rejected. It. It's just that I didn't want to entertain it no more. Mm. You no, know, because what I was learning was contrary to who I was. So in order to get more immersed in what that means. I removed myself. I lived in Egypt. I moved to Egypt. I studied, you know, I read, write, speak Arabic. I, I immersed myself and learned the religion. So then when I went to prison, and I remember the first, you know, I was playing ball. I went to ball for it. I was going to the basket. Dude was, you know, doing like a tango and cash at Rucker. Okay, you got your boy, boom, he's shaking. He's like, I just dropped the ball. I walked over to the table. Anything I quiet on y'all. It's like, listen, dog. I never introduced myself to you as well. My name is Amir. You want to say Air Moses, the bearded one? You have fun with it. Yeah. We ain't going to do long. Went back to playing ball. So from that moment, everybody started to like, okay. Air yeah, Moses. He on his thing. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Like, yeah. That's to let you know I still have, you know, I'm not trying to be the party poop. Right. But right. I, I just, you don't know. Right. This ain't Loon here. Loon ain't coming to prison. Amir is here. Right. Loon bill would have been different. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things could have transpired me being Loon in prison. Could have had a pregnant CEO. There's a whole lot of stuff that was on the table for Loon. Mm. The you discipline. Say, you say no. No. You know, the discipline. He said he got on the mic. We're recording. Oh, I thought he was waiting for him. going to come back. All right. Yeah. You know, the same, you know, a certain level of discipline. Right. I had to protect that. You know? And. As time went by, I learned to accept it and appreciate it and understand that that's a door for someone to learn right. from me, you know? But at first it was like- Shut it off. Yeah, I'm vulnerable right now. I'm still, you know, transitioning. I'm still trying to learn. I'm still trying to benefit. I'm trying to grow. Right. You know, and I can't allow you to stagnate me by trying to constantly tell I me mean, everybody's like, yo, I do is walk up on me in prison, yo, it's New York day, you coming to eat? Like, see, if you just say come eat, how... I can't eat. Muslim, I don't celebrate no New York day. Come on, I, I ain't that serious. I won't be there. You know, and it was just, it used to be like that, because people just wanted me to chime in. New York time, this, I'm not on none of that. Right. Like a Muslim, yo, you know? But then I started to learn that, you know, they don't know, how, the, the, the cats don't know no better. They don't know no other way. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So I had to remove myself from just giving that harsh impression because I wasn't trying to be harsh. I was trying to protect myself. So, I'm trying to right. protect my growth. But, and, but there's know. a part in transitioning where you kind of like ostracize people who are not of the same mindset. I remember um, when I started, started studying the Torah, Everybody used to call me J Red. Mm -hmm. Once I changed my name, I was addressing everybody different. Tell them don't don't call me. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Cause you kind of want to like push yourself away from what you considered as the wrong way of living. Yeah. And you don't want to be acknowledged as it. But at the same time, I left a lot of friends that was like, yo, he used to be my friend. Like this used to be my man. Now he like. 
he pressing me over, calling him something. I called him for like 10 years. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's, that shit is crazy. Yeah. But it, it's, I guess it's needed to like in, indulge in a, in a new, new side of you, but you kind of forget everybody I left is potentially me on the crossover. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or can potentially benefit from choices I made. Right. And maybe want to invest in learning about what motivated those things. Right. You know? So that's really that's really the um the benefit for me is like I mean I love my people, you know. Mm -hmm. I love my people. And I've endured the same struggle as any other black man in this country. But there is a cure, you know, and it doesn't reside in nationalism. History will tell you that. No nationalist group was ever successful in mm -hmm. establishing unity. Because you can't do it if you're going to alienate everybody and just focus on your own right. ethnicity. All you're going to do is create the enemies. Of this is unity. Right. It's not real unity. Mm. No. Because it's somebody who wants the same thing you want, but may not be from you. They don't get a seat at the table. I want peace. I want unity. I want these things. Because to be honest with you, if you look at any progress that ever took place in any civil rights movement or anything involving our people, had not it been white people getting involved, it wouldn't have pushed the needle. We just watched in our generation. We never lived to see the civil rights. We wasn't there. But right. we seen with the whole Black Lives Matter. matter. Yeah. Every time they put a camera, hoping they catch an abundance of black people, it was a bunch of white people. People right in the front. <laughs> <laughs> right in the front. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. That's what really propelled our movement at that time. We ain't got to tear it down. What transpired behind it, whatever the case may be, the reality of it is there was a vast majority of people who sincerely believed in that movement. Right. It doesn't matter and they the have corruption. To be it's always going to be that. Yeah. It's always going to be opportunists. It's always going to be people, you know what I'm saying, who are put in place you know, to try to benefit or gain from somebody else's hardship. Right. Ultimately, it opened a lot of people's eyes. Like I said, you, you wasn't really going nowhere until it reached the hearts of other people. Mm. This was... Because you can't say it matters just to us, right? It has to matter. If you say black lives matter, it has to just matter. Yeah, you can't to everyone. You can't decide who it, who it matters, matters to. to. Right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But you remember that scene in Malcolm X when the white lady came out the mouth and was like, well, well, how can I hope? He's like, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> Painful. Crush the whole dream. Crush the down. whole Yo, dream. Everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But look what it took for him later. To figure that to out. To figure that out. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. So, you know. If this was 15 years ago, I would be interested to hear the song that would come from these ideals. Mm. It would be very interesting to see you put this on wax and take your fan base from I need a girl to <clears throat> here's real unity. I don't know if people would accept it. It's not it's not the point. I when wouldn't you, I wouldn't want you to think you, about it. When you it say you that. don't know. Yeah. I That's mean. just my opinion. I'm just saying because the way I see the game, you know, your impression or the impression that you made. Yeah. See if LL could do it. You saw Kanye do it. I see J. Cole doing it. <laughs> but Kendrick Lamar. I don't know. I, I, I don't really witness none of that. Trust Cole's me. Tr that's, I why, that's why I said, I trust me. It. I would be interested to see what. But you stepped away from yeah, music yeah, completely. Completely. Yeah, completely. Yeah, completely. Which is insane when you consider the heights that you were at. And who you were doing it but with. But not, not only that, we've had conversations. We had conversations about rhyme patterns. Yeah. And just breaking down the structure of it. And after those conversations, I thought to myself, I was like, damn. But he, he really can't indulge anymore. 
but you have a vast knowledge. Like, I couldn't have that conversation with most rappers. Yeah. You know, they just well, he rapped like this and he rapped like that, but to be able to break down the structure and why and how this would go this way and this would go this way with this person, and they, it's just different. I think the thing I appreciate the most now is that I actually have a voice. You don't have no memorable interviews alone during my career. Puff did yeah. all the talk. Right. <laughs> Just to be honest, you know what I'm saying? I right. remember one time they wouldn't even let me present an award. You know what I'm saying? Like he was running late. And I'm like, yo, I'm here. He was like, yeah. how far is Puffy? Like, you know, they was just like, they was content wow. with he had to come and be the and be the presenter. The voice. Like I didn't have the vocabulary or the ability to articulate whatever was necessary for a simple, you know what I'm saying, segment of and next, you know what I'm saying, well, whatever. Right. You know, and that was something that was, that was something that was understood in the business at the time. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So the fact that I don't do music no more, but I found another way to express, you know, certain passions that I have for bringing about rectification, you know what I'm saying, with the youth, you know, aid and assisting those who can't do for themselves, prison reform, all these things that actually matter. Mm -hmm. And to be honest <laughs> with you, and I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way, it's like when you bring one talent to the table, People expect you to utilize that for everything else. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. It's like uh And I even go through that with some, you know, you know, people within the Muslim community. Mm -hmm. And why don't you just do like Islamic songs? It's like, damn, that's all I'm good for? No, but it, No, no, no. Give it's me, that's not, not to say I know no, that. A, I know that, right. but I just gotta understand that sometimes it could be easily perceived that that's the only benefit you see a person capable of bringing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm that's, not gonna, yeah. I, I can't agree I'm with that. I'm not saying that's your me opinion. Neither. I'm just right. saying it for me personally, cause right. it's like, I, I, you know, I, I have other, other things. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, but right. You got, but you still have this one too. Yeah. Like yeah. this one didn't vanish because you picked up something else. And and this one Well for me it hit. Yeah. But no, it didn't vanish. This you one, just got rid. You just yeah. you locked it away. It didn't. Look, you can have a look. conversation with 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 with. Uh, uh, some, MC sometimes on the I have an artist named, named Brooklyn Hands. I've watched a room full of battle rappers who are like the most egotistical people, mm -hmm. artists on the planet. Shut up and ask him to spit another verse. And at one point, he wanted to change his life when OT. Got different. And I, I would tell him, I'm like, yo, you out there trying to be Douglas. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, the world, the world, the world know you as hands. Yeah. Like you could still be that. But be hands. They know you as hands. Just show them who hands is. Show them all the facets of hands. But don't just say, I can't be hands no more. I won't be Douglas. Nobody know Douglas. You dig what I'm saying? Thing, so you, gotta, you, gotta, <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Look, he said, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Sometimes you got to look at like when a person acquires peace. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. And that's what this is? Absolutely. I, I get it. Absolutely. But, but here's the thing. If you want to influence people, I could put a mirror on this interview if you want. But when I put Loom, and people go, oh, oh, I remember Loom. And they click. They see what you're doing now. It shows them, oh, you could go from this to this. That's the point, though. That's what, you that, what I'm I saying? mean, that's what we discussed previously. It's like, I've learned to embrace that. Right. Mm -hmm. So you put a Loom on the interview, it's not, a, it's not a fraction of anything. It's like, yo, that, that's, that's what's up. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's who you know from based on your audience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your followers. That's who they know sitting in this chair. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to that. This hot for trap trap
rapper turned smack rapper Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers I'm in the hood with the work you heard Making fiends leave earth you heard Got your baby mama thirst you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the way you need to surf you heard